Welcome to Modern Handgunners, everybody. I'm Bob Main, and with me is... Ben Branham, and we're gonna talk about a cheap holster that I bought today. So I ordered this from PSA, got it in this week. It is a Bulldog Cases holster, and it's their thumb brake style, thumb drive holster, what do they exactly call it? Thumb release polymer holster. So I thought we'd open it here, we check it out. Um, we're always looking for holster deals. I mean, you got a oh, holster yeah. sponsor, so you get really good stuff normally. And I buy really expensive holsters normally, a couple hundred bucks. And so we're always looking for something. This one was $20 on sale, plus $8 in shipping. Yeah, that's not bad. Palmetto State Armory, right? That's where I got it, was Palmetto State. But okay. these are sold, you can actually get this stuff on Amazon and all sorts of stuff, but Palmetto State Armory had them super cheap. We'll put a link in the show notes so you can see them and get there really easy. So. You got an M&P, let's see how this thing fits. Yep. Yeah, let's see, let's check it out. So when you're opening it up, so this is a holster with uh, retention. Yeah, except for right? it comes with a paddle, paddle holster, which makes it, it yeah. makes it easier. But yeah, paddle. you can see their thumb kind of retention yeah, device. And then that. it comes with extra doodads and gear. Okay. And for 20 bucks, it's pretty $20. impressive that it comes with a mag pouch too. It comes with a mag pouch. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty cool. And I don't know if this mag pouch is even going to fit an M&P holster. Well, it looks like it needs to be adjusted a little bit. Maybe it adjusts out. This is the first time that we're unboxing oh. this, folks, and so we're kind of like being. Uh, it does adjust out. There's a screw here, and there's clips here that adjust it out, so it does fit. Yeah, there you go. We're being new buyers here in case it's a little. You're, you know, you'll so see. You know what to expect when you get one of these. But and then there's like five Allen wrenches in here. So I'm sure one of them fits oh, that. Yeah. Okay. And then this is hey one of those kind of clip outs for the belt. You know I love this for this the for the belt stuff so that it clips out. So you can just clip it on your belt instead of running it through. So it looks like a fairly uh, well made holster. And so um, it definitely looks like it's a uh, injected molded. It's uh, it's a little bit soft on the plastic, yeah. but it is super hot out here. It's like 100 degrees out. It's not a custom holster, but that's okay. For twenty dollars, it wouldn't be. <laughs> um, Nope. But it looks like it would uh, it would get you through. Like for example, if you're going to be, you know, your first time going out and doing some competition or something like that, because uh, it's an outside the waistband holster, probably not great for concealment, but it depends. Yeah, but I can feel the difference between. But for open carry, be alright because yeah. it's got retention. But this is a Safari Land holster, and I can definitely feel the difference in the oh yeah the plastic from that yeah. to that. But that yeah. Safari Land is a ninety dollar holster, yep. 75, 90 bucks somewhere in there, and this is twenty bucks, so not bad. Yeah. But what we really want to see is how's it fit. Yeah. Well, I got my M&P 2.0 compact, so let's check it out and see where we're at here. Mm -mm. Well, it's it's not bad. It's not bad. It does not. Uh, it does not 100% cover the trigger guard. Oh, well, yeah. Well, on this gun. But can but, you get it in there and... Well, check it out. There's still... And there's a little space because you got the compact version. Right, I got the compact version. Well, well put I your got full the, size in there. I got the full size version in there and see how it fits. See what happens. So the full size is still even with the bottom. Is it covered up? I really like that. Yeah, it's and more the, covered. Well, the, it looks the same, but what I'm looking at yeah. is there's no way... There's no way to... There's no way I could get trigger. a finger in there to press the trigger, and that's the important okay. part. Uh, so now we just figured out that both the full size and the compact fit in there without any problem. Yeah, which is normal, but it's a little bit long. Yeah. I like that it's it's open bottom, so I guess if you wanted to run the five inch gun, you could. That's what I meant. But yeah. it, I don't like guns sticking past the end of my holster ever, so I like it where this one's even. I can go with that one. Yeah. The thumb brake seems to be a little further back than I'm used to. With the Safari Land that I've been running for so many years, it's a, it's easier for me. Now let it's me less check movement. out with my gun the Safari Land. The Safari Land will fit. It's the same, but I mean that yeah. Safari Land has been there for. Now we do have a full cover of the trigger guard on the Safari. See, Land. it's a little bit better. Yeah. 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 I see. Okay. But yeah, you're right. The retention button on your Safari Land is right where you need it. Yeah. So this one. Right there. But this one works pretty good, and it's. Uh, the retention lever is actually, so the Safari Land works off of the ejection port up mm -hmm. here and it hooks into the ejection port so you can't get the gun out. This Bulldog hooks in to the trigger guard, trigger guard which seems like a sturdier design for me, yeah. but it, yeah, it's solid it's in there. It's not moving. Hold on a second. Oh, maybe it's not. Well. Are you getting, pulling that out without pressing yeah. retention? Oh, really? So I think we might have failed on the $20 holster because I just... Yeah, you shouldn't be able to do that. There's no extra locking lugs, nothing like that. So, 
So as a cheap holster to run around Let the range, it might work. But I thought I was going to really pull on it and pull hard, and I didn't have to pull mm -hmm. that hard for it to come no. out. When I take the safari lands and stuff, when I pull on these things, there's if I don't push the button, there's no way yeah. I can't I can't get pull these out physically. But yeah. that one I can, which kind of sucks. I wonder what the design flaw is. Now I want to know that it's not really locking in there real well. And by the way, for all of you that want to get really critical about it, yes, our guns are empty. Just proving it to you. It looks like... So, yeah, there's a little lever yeah. on the bottom that doesn't seem to want to... That's interesting. Well, lock in all the way. Yeah. See, that's why we do these tests and do these videos so we can kind of uh, get into some of this stuff and figure out what's going on. So for 20 bucks, we thought we'd buy it and test it. Um, we're going to try it anyways. We're going to run some drills with it and play with it and see if it's even worth keeping. Um, really, if you wanted a holster to go out to the range and goof off with, you just need something, a bucket to hold your gun or to go to a competition yeah, or something. That's to be good for For that. 20 bucks, this is a great one that you could just get, order, and have it come. For a carry holster, um, so. retention holster, yeah. all it's going to do is slow you down to have the retention device when it's not retaining anything. Yeah. I mean, at least, I guess at least it passes the shake test. It does. The it retention device the, is it holding it. the shake test, yeah. The retention device is holding it for the shakes test. So, well, let's get some guns and some ammo. Let's well, do that. Get some more ammo, and let's, let's go shoot these let's and see shoot. what's That's going. the best part of this. We'll do, we'll do five gimmies. Five gimmies. And then we'll do five on the clock. With okay. this holster, and then we'll do five on the clock with the other holster. Five on the clock with this holster, and five with the other. Now, I'm not used to shooting from a retention holster, so this is going to be interesting. That's why I said five gimme. So just five. go nice and slow, steel target, about five, right. six yards out there. Okay. One, one draw, one round. Got it. One draw, one round. Yep. Ready? Fight. All right, just for time's sake, we're going to speed up Bob's five test draws here. And then we're going to get into his actual times. You had five give me's. Now we're going to put five on the clock. One draw, one round. Yep, I'm going to. Okay. Same thing. Again, I'm new at using a retention holster. All right, shooter ready? Stand by. 1 1.79. 1.61. 1.73. 1 Check out that group. But yeah, they're uh, on top of each other. That's nice shooting. That was a little slower at two even. 1.77. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna repeat this now, and I'm using my Concealment Solutions Cobra, which is outside the waistband, uh, who is also a sponsor uh, for this channel. This is not a retention holster, it's a concealed carry outside the waistband holster. One shot, one round, five times? Yep. Shooter ready? Stand by. 1.66. 1.21, but I think you jumped the gun on that one. Maybe. 1.63. 1.63. One point five nine. One point two six. So I think you jumped the gun on that one a little bit too. Maybe. But those times were faster than the other ones. Let's paint up the targets and then I'll do it. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing five rounds out of the holster with that bulldog holster. Let's see if it's any faster or any slower. Shooter ready. Stand by. <laughs> nice headshot. Yeah, but I got stuck in the holster and came out weird. That was 1.3. All right. And that was 1.25. Yeah. 1.34. I'm not getting a good grip on the gun as it's coming out. 1.37. Just barely winged it. 1.33. 1 so pretty consistent in the 1.3. Shooter ready. Stand by. 1.15. That was a nice 1.41. 1.42. 1.43. 
1.25. Ooh, 1.08. Not too bad, but I, my group is pretty horrible, but the speed were good. So that's okay, so um, judging uh, by those results, it looks like uh, this Bulldog holster, it wasn't too bad, was it? Um, well, I got to tell you, I don't like it. Okay. So five rounds out of the holster, straight up. They were two tenths of a second slower for me, give or take. I got all that stuff on the numbers. I'll show you guys on the video. But I never got a good grip coming out of the gun. I was always getting it. And a couple times, I don't even think I hit the release to get the gun out. I think I just jerked it straight out. And it really gave me a weird grip on the gun. And I didn't get my finger on the right spot on the trigger. So all my rounds were low and left. And that sounds like I was anticipating the recoil, but really I think it's because I didn't get enough trigger in there. Didn't get the right Not grip. Enough finger on the trigger. So it was, um, I didn't like the holster because I couldn't get a good grip on it, get it out and get it on target and going like I wanted to. For me, it wasn't so bad. I was getting a good grip. I'm not used to shooting from a retention holster. So I was averaging about 1.6 and 1.7, right? Yeah. And I was making good hits. I'll take that because I haven't practiced, but I'll say it's, um, it's an average holster, but uh, you know what? Like we said before, for the price, not bad. So for 20 bucks, it might be worth it if you just need something to hold the holster. If you want something good, something fast, something that's really going to make you better, uh, spend Safari a little Land. bit more money. <laughs> my, my favorite is the Safari Land. Your favorite is the uh, Jason Christian's Concealment the Solutions. Concealment Solutions, yeah. So buy one of those. Uh, we thank you for watching. If you like this and you thought this was helpful and instructional, then, uh, Ben, we have a uh, program, don't we? We got the Shooters Club. Go to ShootersClubMembers.com. There, we break down how to do that draw, how to get that fast, how to work on it, how to do dry practice, how to do more gear. We have tons of cool gear selection. So you yeah. can really find a good holster before you get a bucket of holsters and buy a $20 holster that you don't like that I'm going to end up giving away or throwing away. But go check it out at ShootersClubMembers.com. There's over 80 videos. We've got hundreds of members right now. Go join them, and you'll learn a lot of cool stuff. I remember shooting the video you're talking about, and uh, our times were even a lot faster with a couple competition holsters, so check it out.